All right, hey everybody. We are going to be working on uh, volume this time. So not surface area, but volume. Um, so in, it's filling up the rectangle. So we're not painting this. We're not covering it with wrapping paper. We're not covering it with gold like that story problem. We are filling it full, or we are finding out how much space it occupies, okay? So that's that's the official definition. Definition is um, three dimensional figure measure of how much uh, space it occupies. So don't forget that now our units are going to be cubic. We've already talked about that a few times. So we're going to have meters cubed uh, or cubic feet. All right, cubic inches. That's how we write them. Okay. So this is just base big B base times height and what that means is and this will be for all prisms okay so right now we're just doing rectangular in fact you won't do anything but rectangular but i do want you to know that big b is not the same as little b big b means the area of the base whereas um uh in like the area of a triangle we have one half little b times height where this is the base of the triangle okay so big b base means area of the base you'll see that a lot okay so really um so what is so since we're working with rectangles what is the um what is the uh the area of a rectangle well it's length times width so this big b is just length times width, and then this H here is the same as this H right there. So all we did was just substitute it in. So really, it's just length times width times height. Okay, but I do need you to know, for especially for next year, to remember that the reason that it that the actual formula is the base times the height, and the reason is actually pretty simple. The reason is okay if I know the area of this okay so i'm think i'm think i'm gonna fill this okay i'm gonna fill up a um a rectangular prism if i know how much water it takes let's actually go blue so okay i'm just free freestyling here if i fill up the bottom okay so i know how much water it took to fill up the bottom right so that 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 cares right so if or that matters so if i have a bigger base right that's a that's a rectangle i promise it's gonna take more water, right? So the, the base size does matter, okay? So I'm gonna get rid of that. And then the other thing that matters is, well, how high does it go, right? Let, for in, like, I'm making a weird off, okay? Okay, so is how high does it go? So this, this thing right here, this height matters, right? If it went higher, I would need more water, okay? So all that matters with volume is, okay, how much does it take to fill up the bottom? And then how many of those bottoms or how high do I need to go? I shouldn't have gone blue there, but it, you get the idea. Um, so anyway, that's why it is base times height because how much does it take to fill up the bottom? And then how high do I have to go? Like how many, how many units up do I have to fill that same base? Okay, so that's where it comes from. All right, so hopefully that helped a little. That was completely freestyle. Just made that up as I went along. Okay, so let's go to um, let's go to a couple of examples. Okay, these are not difficult if you just take your time and and do uh, and follow your formula like all geometry. Follow your formula. Okay, so the volume equals length times width times height. Okay, so in other words, the length and width of our base. Remember, our base is this bottom part. And then the other thing we care about is this height right here, okay? So this is our height, okay? And this is our length, and this is our width, okay? So we just multiply them all together. So I know you guys are going crazy because they're fractions, but 7 eighths times 1 half times 5 eighths, okay? So let's do one at a time here. So let's just multiply this times this, okay? Let's come over here. Seven over eight times one over two. Okay, I look at my corners. There's nothing to factor out. I cannot factor, this is an even, this is an odd number, so I cannot factor out a two. There's nothing to factor out, so I simply multiply across. 
7 over 16, okay? Now, this is 7 over 16, and I still have to multiply times 5 eighths. So 7 over 16 times 5 over 8, okay? I look at my corners again. I can't factor anything out. They, these don't have anything in common, and these don't have anything, any factors in common. So I just multiply across. So I get 35 over, let's see, 16 times 8 is I'm gonna use my calculator I could I should have just done it on the side 128 okay so we just did that oh sorry so we just did this so therefore we have our volume now our volume is 35 over 128 and we have meters and they are cubed now I guess I should have put the square on the volume too okay so notice over here on B, all I want you to notice is that this one here is, is a special rectangle uh, called a square, okay? Notice that everything, this is called a, a cube, okay? So the reason it's called a cube is because th uh, raised to the third power is cubed. So all we have to do is take three halves to the third power. So volume equals three halves to the third power, which is the same as three to the third power over two to the third power. Therefore, volume is equal to, well, three to the third power is three times three times three, which is 27. Three times three is nine. Nine times three is 27. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. So our volume is 27 over eight inches or we could make this um we could make this what like three which would eight goes into 27 three times which is 24 and three eighths inches cubed don't forget the cube this time i'll include that okay let's move all right so this one is the hardest part and this is where we're going to solve for um a missing uh, in this case, H. Okay, so find the height of the computer. So volume equals length times width times height, and we're going to solve for that height, okay? So it tells me down here that my volume is 1792. So we're remembering how to do that, those, that algebra equation, okay? And it is length times width, which would be 16 times 7. So 16 times 7 times, let's change the color of this for the fun of it because I can, times that H, okay? So 16 times seven is 112, okay? So let's go back to black. Um, so 1792 is equal to 112 times H, okay? Now, how do I do this? Okay, I need to get H all by itself, right? And in order to do that, I need to get rid of this 112 right? This, if this 112 were gone, I would just have the H. So we divide, remember, because this is 112 times H. So we do the opposite operation and we divide by 112. You undo one side of the equation, what you do unto the other. So we divide the other side by 112. These two become one. So I have, I have one H is now equal to one seven nine two I'm gonna get my calculator one seven nine two divided by one one two is sixteen. That is our height. Okay, so this H is equal to sixteen. Alright, and that's just remember how to solve for uh pretty much that's how you're gonna do it. You're gonna be dividing because we're undoing the multiplication. Okay, this one is simply, I'm just going to show you it, okay? So take a screenshot, look at it more carefully after the video. But this is one of those ones where, where we're going to look at, okay, well, what happens when we have to convert between, as you can see in this here, if I didn't go too far and erase it, we have feet, right? Feet, feet, okay? We have feet, and they want it in... Um, yards so converting from yards to feet they do up here okay so notice one cubic yard okay right here one cubic yard is 
yard times yard times yard, okay? So therefore there are three feet in a yard, so that'd be each yard would be three feet times three feet times three feet. So you basically end up with three cubed, three times three times three, times feet cubed. And you end up with three cubed is 27 and feet cubed. Okay, so all I can say is that all they did down here was they they took all of these measurements from this thing here, they multiplied them together, they get 646, but then they have to do this um, conversion. Okay, so remember, the way we do this is we want yards, so they go on top, we want cubic yards, and feet go on bottom so that we can cancel them out like they did. They show us really nicely here. And we just need to remember that because of what we figured out up here, that this number here was 27. Okay? And then when you divide, essentially, 646, it ends up being 646 over 27 or divided by 27, and they get the 24. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, and, uh, yeah. Uh, that should do it. All right. Well, hope you guys have having a great one and, uh, let me know if you have questions. See ya.